Right, on today's uh, big debate, the government's issued new guidance to schools to ban mobiles. Um, the details include banning them from classrooms, searching pupils and keeping them in lock boxes. It's also been reported that 97% of kids own a phone by the age of 12, with a fifth of three and four year olds having their own mobiles. So, is it... <laughs> Ooh, I know. I know, the young. Um, but for some, they don't see it that way. Uh, but is it really possible to raise a phone-free child anymore if you choose to do so, B? I will say yes, because I, I did that. That's what I, I... Well, you know, in my day, there wasn't the phone and I went to school without a phone, didn't do me any harm, I'm still OK. I still know how to use the computer and use certain apps now that I have a smartphone. Um, when my children were at school, I've said it before, they didn't have a, they didn't have a phone. I dropped them to school, I picked them up, um, or somebody would pick them up. Um, and when they were going to high school was when I allowed them to have a phone, and it was a normal phone with phone numbers on there, no Wi-Fi or anything like that. Um, and it was literally... There was a restriction that I had on there that they could only phone certain numbers, which was mine in case mm. of emergency or mm. my husband's at the time. Um, and I don't think... I don't think that it's... You know, in schools, I don't think it's a lot to ask to... If you come into the playground, you put your phone into a, a thing. You can go to concerts now and you have to put your phone into one of these holders mm. and it's gone. You can't take any photograph. You can't take yeah. any... You know, I, I don't see the harm in doing that. They say you can't have a phone in examination times, so... Mm. Leave it for the rest of the day. But what do you need? A, what does a four-year-old need a phone for? I know. I agree with that completely. Your kids um, at school, they um, they lock their phones away, don't they? My kids are phone-free and they're at primary and it's no phones are allowed in primary school at all, not, not even into lockers. But when I've been looking at secondary schools for my eldest, that's their policies. People bring in their phones and put them in a locker. I mean, look, no judgment from me because... I say my kids are phone free, they're 10 and 6. So actually, when I get to secondary age, it might be harder for that to happen. Do but they both I... have phones? No, they're phone free, my children. Right. They don't have a phone. They're only oh, 6 and not 10. Yeah. Right, OK. Uh, but they don't have a phone period. Right. Okay. Nothing. But when my eldest is, you know, she's secondary school next year, when she gets to that age, will she continue to be phone free? I don't know. And should it's she the be? Peer pressure. Well, it's, it's, it's also that social network. There's a safety thing if they're on public transport on their own. And there's a tech thing of the world operates on a smartphone, so to completely take them away from tech in their teen years isn't necessarily... But the dark world operates um, even more on a phone, well, and that's what's causing a lot of young does. people it... and children to have mental mm. anxiety for, for so many different Absolutely. reasons, because they're yeah. feeling that they, they have to. The trouble is, the old phrase, the genie is out of the bottle, as mm. regards not being able to put it back in. Obviously, my kids... It, it, it wasn't relevant when, when they were growing up. And we still, of course, talk about the days when I was a kid when your mum let you out the front door and didn't call you back till 6 o'clock, you know. Um, and it would be bliss to go back to those days, but unfortunately, yeah. mm. also, the thing is, I've seen many people, and I'm not saying I wouldn't have been guilty about this, of using phones as babysitters, you know, because when I, when I was pregnant with Matthew, I remember saying, well, he won't be watching videos day and night and then wanted to take shares out in Blockbuster by the time <laughs> he was about, was about two. And I've, and I've seen people, but the thing is, you, we all know also, if I had young children, and I hope I'll be like this with my grandchild, I'll have to take a leaf out of somebody else's book because I am obsessed and addicted to my well, phone. this is what the kids and, say. They and see you on your phone. Well, of course, yeah. they, of course yeah. they do. And you can access anything, you know, porn. You don't have to go through anything. You just no. put those words in and every no. kid is going to be curious. And this horrific stuff is going to come up on Yeah, there. I mean, um, the Tory MP, Miriam um, uh, Coates, she's um, put forward legislation. She says that, that under 16 should be banned from social media and smartphones, full stop. Yeah. Um, and that's a, a sentiment that's shared by Esther Jai, who is Brianna Jai's yeah. mum. Um, uh, she would like to ban social media access for under 16s because one of the murderers of, uh, of Brianna Jai had viewed quite a lot of harmful content, of which it thought is fed into his, his behaviour where Brianna was um, concerned. But this also comes under, you know, being able to access pornography on phones is not something new. And there's been, you know, a lot of charities who've been pushing very hard for legislation to be changed where the access to pornography has been, uh, is concerned. There is also several charities and organisations that's trying to get social media companies to take more responsibility for what young people are able to access 
stress and what they deal with and what the mental impact of social media. So, but, so it, you could look at it in two ways. Yet, yeah, should schools be getting involved or should we be educating children about the dangers rather than just taking it away? If you, or should the grown-ups be grown-ups? Those that have got power. Well, yeah, grown-ups be grown-ups. But if you have even the tech giants that make these phones saying, I'm not going to give my child a phone because of all the damages and the and dangers... The addiction. Then, and the addiction. Yeah. Then why should... Why is it all right for me? If it's all right for you, then it should be but all right for me, right? Cast your mind back to being a child, right? You take away social, you take away the phone. I remember looking up all sorts on the family PC. The family I didn't PC need a well. phone. I, know. You know, I, I think with the, with, the, with the social media stuff as well, though, and grown-ups fall into this trap uh, as well, I think what's really affecting our children is the compare and the com you know the compare and despair aspect of life that they think that everybody else is mm. living. Yeah, but in that's this... like when you when your child goes to school and they've got on some no brand but trainers. Gonna, but they they've can got leave no brand that, trainers they, and then that one's got a brand. They can oh, leave I, that at home. This yes, carries do you on pay the bill? Do you pay the bill? Find your bill. Oh, you can't get a bill because while you're six, that's, that... it's like <laughs> you know. I'm sorry, that says it all to me. Yeah. Yeah. Even even a six-year-old. If, if they, Parents need, to, parents you need to need to educate the children. The one sec, one sec, one sec. If a parent says to that child, oh, mummy, mummy, I want a phone. OK, can you give me £35 a month and give me £1,500 for the actual phone? There's free Wi-Fi. They'll it's, find another way yeah, to log on to the Wi-Fi. Well, that, that, it's, well, it's very hard to find a hotspot sometimes. My phone, <laughs> I can't <laughs> find a hotspot. The hotspot for parents. Well, you can find your free Wi-Fi hanging off a building somewhere. I don't know. Goodness me. Well, it, you know, it's, it's clearly a subject which does provoke <laughs> a lot of debate. Midi actually did a poll online <laughs> and 95% of people said that three and four-year-olds shouldn't be allowed to have their own phones. But I it agree. is down to individual yeah. choice Send where parents are concerned. Send your kids to Britain. <laughs> 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 they have no phone when they leave my house. <laughs> um, but we were